Now we need to step back a moment and see what was going on. In the Jerusalem church, they found themselves under great opposition and hostility ever since the persecution that had happened around the time of Stephen's death. Then the Jerusalem church had been a beleaguered little group who were hanging on to their faith in Jesus with James, the brother of the Lord, as their leader, but it was difficult. Most of the Jewish establishment and most of the Pharisees were not wanting to go along with this at all. Oh, quite a few did, but an awful lot didn't, and things were very tough politically. And particularly that was so because in Jerusalem at the time, there was a sense that Rome was a horrible presence brooding like a dragon over Jerusalem and waiting to strike. And and some people thought that being a Jesus follower meant that you should be part of the resistance. And others were saying, no, that's not what Jesus taught. There were all sorts of debates. But the main thing they knew was that those Gentiles were the wicked people of the earth who God was going to deal with and you should have no dealings with them. You shouldn't fraternize with them. So when they in Jerusalem heard that out there in the provinces, as it were, some of the Jesus followers were sharing in table fellowship with Gentiles who hadn't been circumcised and weren't keeping the law of Moses, this is that sort of compromise. Deuteronomy warned us about people like that. We're not going to go there. So these people come from James. And when they come in, Peter reads what's going on on their faces. And Peter separates himself from the Gentile Jesus followers so that now in Antioch there are two tables. Not good. 